Samara. All right. So Samara, life is suffering. Bring on the coronavirus. I'm ready for World War Three. I'm ready for economic collapse. I'm ready for a pandemic. Why? Because I'm mentally ill and I've been to hell several times. And um, so I'm saying this post, you're worried about your life, you're worried about your job, you're worried about your toilet paper, you're worried about your food, you're worried about your family. Well, you know, you can't expect life to be all good and um, you have to suffer. We're in the realm of Samara, you have to suffer to know what non-suffering is and we're all about to suffer. I tell you something, this is a great time for people to become enlightened, right? This is a great time for people to become enlightened, okay? You know when Buddha became enlightened, okay? He um, he, locked, he went to the forest for like weeks and weeks on end and he was just meditating and um, starving himself because he was an ascetic. And at the time everyone thought you, by, by starving yourself and undergoing great significant duress and pain, um, you became enlightened. And in a way they were correct because, um, you know, like... The only reason Buddha came to enlightenment is because basically he collapsed on a riverbank. This is the sto- as the story goes, like you know the veracity of it. Who knows? But anyway, the story is he cor- he collapsed on a riverbank and he was near death because he hadn't eaten or drank any water for a month or so. And um, anyway, this young girl was passing by, and she saw him collapse on the riverbank, and she gave him some food and some water and brought him back to life. And when Buddha came back to life and tasted the first drop of water. He realized the key wasn't suffering. The key was the end of suffering. Okay? Yeah. Can't wait, can I pitch in there? Yeah. So the end of suffering, guess when it comes about? The end of life. Life is suffering. And when you die, you go to heaven. No, I disagree. A deal? It's about attachment. Attachment, yeah. It's attachment to life. It's attachment to toilet paper. <laughs> it's attachment to the economy. Okay, you know, this is what a Buddhist would say. Um, you know, uh, you worry you've got no toilet paper. Okay, so you're worrying, you're suffering. Then you get toilet paper, all right, and you feel relieved. But then you worry you're going to run out of toilet paper and you can't get any more toilet paper, so you suffer. So the key to not suffering is to realize it doesn't matter if you have toilet paper or not. Yeah. And that's, I'm going, to, I'm going to, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. It's the best quote ever written. Fear of thirst when your well is full. Yes. Surely that's the thirst that's unquenchable. Um, was it, there's a line in the Bible about, um, you know, fear not, your well is full. As long as you believe in Jesus, your well, your well is full. I am the life, I am the path, I am the way. Fear of thirst is irrelevant if your well is full. So it's about the belief that no matter what, suffering is only temporary. Yeah, and it, you know what? It's about living in the now. So right now we've got a case of beer, we've got cigarettes, we've got food, we've got everything we need, we've got toilet paper. <laughs> but um, pretty soon everything's going to go to shit. And you know what? You just got to... You got to band together as one, man. The common enemy is this virus and the economy. That's the enemy. And you got to band together and treat one another, do unto others as you have done to yourself. The only way out of this shit, man, whatever shit it is, the only way out is to band together as brothers. Yeah, I mean, like you know, like um, you know, like basically, what what, what you got to do is is like um, I, I came to my personal enlightenment, um, you know, really in China. That's why I came to my personal enlightenment. Uh, I went to China in 2014 and um, I had what, I managed to get put in hospital in China. My family managed to get me into hospital in China. And um, I went to a psychiatric hospital in Beijing. I walked in there, you know, and, um, you know, I, I, got, I was saying an email, I'll talk about this, it's called Heart Be Still. And it basically comes down to what Kennedy said. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. And, um, yeah, true to that. Yeah, true to that. Man. And, and I, I, I'm a communist, but um, I'm a communist too. Th- there are great leaders, like in American leaders, uh, and you know, I don't like American. I don't like Donald Trump. I don't like fucking, 
you know, I don't like Joe Biden, I don't like any of those, I hate fucking Hillary Clinton, I hate all those cunts, right, Barack Obama, the droner-in-chief, the deporter-in-chief, whatever you want to call him, right, I hate all those fuckers, right, big, big Kennedy, Martin Luther King, George Washington, they were great men, you know about George Washington, the funny thing is, he ended slavery, right, he started the Civil War and all that crap, and um, but a lot of people know that George Washington was a hemp farmer, he grew marijuana, and I believe George Washington was sitting on his veranda. Oh, let's have a joint. Yeah, soon. He was sitting <laughs> on his veranda, right? And he was smoking his own hemp. And he looked out at the slaves, cutting down the hemp, stoned as. And he thought, what makes him different from me? Hmm, maybe all people are equal. Maybe, as it says in the Constitution, all people were created equal, right? Yeah, man. However, in the Constitution, they said that um, the original Constitution of America... A black person's vote was only something like two fifths of a white person's vote, and only then it was only men who could vote. But you know, beside the point, and women got the vote after black people got the vote. Surprisingly enough, women were even valued less than the black people. So people say I'm a misogynist. Um, my family say, "Oh, you're anti, you're anti woman." I'm anti woman. You know who I want to win the presidential election? Tulsi Gabbard. You know why I want her to win? Because she's anti. War. She's for Medicare for all. She's for ending the suffering of the people. Sometimes you have to undergo great suffering and hardship, like the Buddha starving himself to death, dehydrating himself to death, and then quenching his thirst. Fear not, the well is full. And Jesus did too, didn't he? Forty days and nights. Two, Forty the... days and nights. Muhammad did as well. He was meditating in the cave when the angels came. All the prophets. So we are prophets, all, aren't we? We are we've prophets. Been, we we suffered in. We have suffered. And the key to life is life is suffering. Okay, that's the first noble truth. Life is suffering. Then there's the path. It was it life is suffering? The path to the end of suffering, the cessation of suffering, and no, life is um. Life is, I can't remember them now, but they're four noble truths. And it's all about suffering, you know, the realisation that life is suffering. Attachment is suffering. Yeah, Attachment. Wait, can I say something? Who wants to suffer with me? Who wants to suffer? And when I mean suffer, I mean smoke weed, drink beer, eat, listen to music and suffer together. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean life's what you make it there could be war there could be people eating each other in the streets get together with some friends enjoy so it could be your last moment I gotta say he's made um, hopefully um, this coronavirus is gonna be like the zombie apocalypse yeah hopefully yeah yeah. yeah. It's, it's gonna fucking be a total reset for the world it's gonna make we need more, a reset man. yeah, it, yeah. It, it, yeah it's, gonna, it's gonna be a financial reset it's also gonna be a spiritual intellectual reset and you know what and it is gonna wipe out most of the fuckwits it's gonna wipe out all the fucking old people yeah well, they're not the fuckwits I mean anyone is prone to being a fuckwit <laughs> fuckwits are fuckwits they're not believers Ian. you want me to pray again yeah. All right, take it easy. Bye.